Hello, I'm Emmanuel brunet -Jailly. I'm the instructor for uh, European Borders Without Wall, but I'm also the lead for Borders and Globalization, the program that basically sponsors the development of uh, European Borders Without Wall. This year and next year, we're presenting the findings of this research program, which is now five and a half years old and has looked at borders from the perspective of major transformation, questioning the existence of specific borders of globalization. The idea being that traditional borders and the way we understand them from the perspective of culture, um, social perspective and political perspective are now going beyond because of globalization and connectivity, mobility and the flow of trades which is changing the way we understand but also the way we observe the making, the process for which borders are made and implemented. Uh, the course this year um, and next year will therefore present 12 units. We look at different themes, we look at, we theorize, we look at obviously the traditional th research themes of borders and globalization, and we compare and Europeanize them. So we use Europe and Canada as it was the case in the past, but much more in depth um, to compare this transformation across the history, the culture, the sustainability, the security, the role of governments and the role of markets. And we focus especially a little bit more on uh, different forms of mobility. So we look at trade and we look at migrations. One of the things that the course argues and theorizes about or conceptually discusses if you want is that the borders of globalization are changing our understanding of borders and are changing the nature of borders worldwide. I think it's a fascinating course. It requires two hours of your work every week, two to four hours, and you'll see on the website we offer discussion forums and multiple choice questions every week so that you can test your own knowledge and take all 12 units as you see fit. Thank you very much.